Hi, I'm Tony from a &R Boilers, members of the Engineer Team Network. And today's boiler what we're looking at is an Alpha HE CB33. From a previous video, we've shown you about a diverter valve. We've got a different problem on this. We can actually change the diverter valve. But it's the same fault, but we're going to change it, show you how we're going to change it. And go through any problems that we go through. You'll see it live. On this video as you can see this bar is fitted quite low down so it's going to be a bit of a struggle but as I said it's a live situation so you're going to see all our quirks all our difficulties in doing the job because this is real life on the job training isn't it Kevin? Sure is. So as part of this um, Kevin's with me doing his bar repair training as part of the engineer team network, this is our business model. We show guys how to do the job on site, do it themselves with me. So they're gonna learn from the best and become the best. So the first thing we need to do is turn the power off. So you can see the power's on at the moment. See that flashing that, well it did flash that yellow light, there it is. So it's power on. The wires, drop down so it could be downstairs oh no it isn't i'm looking up here i found it that's a switch there so i turned it off so the power's off so the next thing we're going to do is um drain it all down get inside the boiler isolate it Flown return and cold water inlet. So he's just going to take screws out and drop that panel down. You might have seen this on the previous video. But if you haven't, this is what we do. Because it's fitting in the airing cupboard, it's pretty tight to the top of the shelving. We're struggling to get it off. Hopefully we don't have to clear all that what's above it. We've got that off now. So the next thing is to do the isolation on the cold water inlet. So the isolation valve for the hot water is there we can see. So we need a screwdriver for that. The heat and flow return will just leave as they are because the bar is fitted upstairs so we don't need to isolate it because there's nothing above us so that's all good so it just this is what we're going to do i'm just going to quickly test it i'm just going to lift it off there see that there it's off and it went off again because i dropped it down see hear it come on Gone off again because I let go. Now, Bruce from the hot water cap. So, the customer says that it, it's come on and it goes off again. Open another tap. Open the cold tap at the same time. So it's gone off for now. Okay, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the hot water back on Kev. So you can hear it activating. Burns come on. Now you might think, oh, it's okay, it's running fine. But we're going to open the hot and um, the cold water at the same time. The hot water's on. Open that cold water now. See, it went off, and that's because inside the divert valve, the diaphragm, it can't cope with more flow. So if you open the hot tap, and it fires up. Open the cold water as well, and if it stays on, then it's okay. But if it goes off, 
it is definitely diverse to what's causing the problem so that's a quick test and something to be aware of because you could be caught out on it now we've got on hot water mode burners on so Kevin can open a cold tap and just do that test what we've done in the beginning yep. so that's a cold on hot on together and it's coping fine so that's job done bit of a marathon big job as I said it's live action see it as it happens so you see the real thing real bottle pair training in the real world so if you want to come on our bottle pair training just click on a link below follow the link read more about what we do and hopefully you can come on our bottle pair training and be a masterful engineer so thank you for watching and see you on the next video.